Hi everybody and welcome back to Finding Wendy. Thanks for watching. Uh, so this week, of course, I'll talk about my stats. I have lost weight again this week, which is great. The stall is not uh, it's not happening anymore. Oh, I'm so happy about that. Uh, I'm going to talk about um, uh, setting goals. going to talk about binge eating and pain management. So first of all, my stats. Uh, when I started back in October, I was 450 when I started my OptiFast. Uh, and I was on OptiFast for a month on February 20th. I was 400. Uh, my day of surgery was March 20th, and I was uh, uh, 375, and today I weigh 347. So I've lost 5 pounds this week, which is great. My total weight loss is 103 pounds, so I'm really happy about that. seem to be doing everything correctly. So this week was very interesting because I went to my very first um, bariatric group session at Toronto Western Hospital, and they had a panel of people speaking to the whole group who had the surgery three to five years ago and about how they've kept the weight off and about setting goals. And there was a very interesting woman who set a goal for herself to walk the Camino de Santiago. The Camino de Santiago is, uh, sorry, Santiago de Compostela. Um, so basically it's a, a walk of 800 kilometers and it takes a month. You, so you walk between 20 and 25 kilometers a day. You start in France and you walk to northwest uh, Spain and end at the Camino uh, Santiago de Compostela, and which is a beautiful city. I've been there myself many years ago and uh, it's, it's a fantastic goal. So the goal that I set for myself is to be able to fit in an airplane seat. I definitely want to go visit my friend in California next year and I also want to visit my family in Amsterdam. So, uh, so those are go that's a fantastic goal to, for, my, for myself to be able to fit in an airplane seat. Um, the other thing I was going to talk about was binge eating because one of the, one of the other women on the uh, panel, she was talking about how she always had little baggies of uh, snacks with her to make sure that she is at least getting her protein. And, um, and so I thought, okay, well, I'll go to the market and I'll buy some uh, beet chips and some peanuts. And that night I made all these little baggies and they were all about 200 uh, calories. I measured it out, I uh, used my scale, and each little baggie had 200 calories of protein of these beet chips and peanuts. So I was sitting on the couch watching TV later that night and that uh, binge eating snack, oh my God, I feel like a snack kind of feeling in my head came up. And I knew consciously that the peanuts and beet chips were in the house. And I magically found myself in the kitchen and I was just about to grab a bag and start eating them. And I thought, no, 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 Wendy, what are you doing? What are you doing? So I immediately threw everything in the garbage and threw other stuff on top of it so that I wouldn't uh, dive back into the garbage and eat from the garbage, which I've done. And, um, and probably some other people uh, have also done in the past. So anyways, um, I thought, oh my goodness, you know, why is it that this woman can have these little bags in her purse wherever she goes and not just binge eat them, you know, when you're not supposed to. And then I thought, well, she had the surgery five years ago and I had my surgery a month ago, a little over a month. I actually, it's a sur sur surgiversary is the word, I guess. I had my surgery on March 20th and today is April 24th. So uh, yeah, over a month ago I had my surgery, so I'm not ready yet. I'm not strong enough yet to have that stuff in the house. And kudos to all those people out there that do have that stuff in the house because they have other family members living with them. I live alone, so I can just, you know, keep it out of my, keep it out of my kitchen and not worry about me uh, binge eating or late night snacking what I used to do when I was out at 450 pounds. So the other thing I want to talk about was pain management. Um, I have severe osteoarthritis in my spine and in my left hip. And when I go to bed at night, I have excruciating pain that starts about five minutes in when I'm laying flat that goes down the back of my leg to my calf. And it's like an electric nerve ending pain. It's like a, an extreme Charlie horse. And it comes in waves, like every 10 minutes, it's this pain and it's horrible. So I was talking to a friend um, who's HIV and uses cannabis to help with the um, nausea that he gets from the HIV medications. And he suggested I start using CBD isolate. And CBD isolate is basically from the hemp plant. And I was just, you know, reading up about it on the internet. And uh, unlike marijuana, it's a different plant or different 
part, yeah, it's a different plant grown differently. So the marijuana gives you a high and hemp, uh, this CBD isolate from the hemp plant does not give you a high. And it's, uh, there's very low amounts of THC in hemp and there's very high amounts in uh, CDB. Um, so anyways, it doesn't give you a high, but what happens is that you're, I was laying there and, and I put a little bit on my, on my pinky and then I put it, you know, on my gums. It kind of looks like cocaine. Um, yeah, so I'm just laying there and no pain and, and I'm not high or anything. I'm just, you know, looking at my phone and just relaxing and no pain. So it was like, like a magic drug. And, uh, so I was really, really pleased with the results and I'm going to go to the doctor next week and ask my doctor for uh, uh, a prescription so I can get a mar medical marijuana card so I can start buying this uh, CDB isolate myself. And I highly recommend it to anybody out there that wants to get away from, um, you know, the more harsh chemical uh, pain relievers like like morphine. I have I have a, 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 a prescription for morphine, but I don't like morphine because it it gives you this really dry mouth and it uh, makes you really groggy the next morning. And uh, and this there were no side effects from the CDB isolate. So I was really really happy to uh, discover this, and I'll continue using. It's not cheap. It's one gram is sixty dollars. So um, it's very expensive. But mind you, the other drugs that I take for pain management are also expensive. So this is a more natural way. So anyways, I'm happy that I lost five pounds this week. I'm still on the right track. And, um, you know, I've been drinking more water, trying to drink more water. And um, doing some uh, strength exercises in the morning and doing some walking. And uh, just keep moving and drink your water. And uh, hopefully you'll reach your goal as well. So anyways, thanks for watching. This is Finding Wendy. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my video channel. And uh, my website is www.findingwendy.ca. And there you'll find some recipes for some things that I've tried out uh, and made this week. Like uh, cauliflower pizza, which was delicious. Uh, it was like the pizza crust is made out of cauliflower instead of dough. And um, so that, that recipe is on uh, my website as well. So have a great week. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.